So I can admit it, I have a shopping problem. <laughs> Today I'm here to share with you some new fragrances that I've added to my collection, but what's gonna be a little bit different than my usual haul is that I'm also gonna share with you some fragrances that have left my collection in the past month or so. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. get into the fragrances I do want to quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here my name is Aisha I make videos about fragrance beauty luxury and lifestyle if those are things you're into please consider subscribing and if you are a returning subscriber hey y'all welcome back to my channel so like I said in this video I'm going to be sharing some new fragrances that have been added into my collection so this is pretty much a haul some of these fragrances you may have seen a little bit about in other videos but I hadn't really hauled them yet, so they're in this haul too. For those fragrances, I won't spend a ton of time on them, but I will share them with you. But after I share the new fragrances that I've added to my collection, in this same video, I'm gonna share with you the fragrances that have left my collection over the past month or so, and I'll let you guys know why. So without further ado, let's get to it. So the first fragrance that I have here is from Lolita Limpica, and I haven't purchased any of their fragrances in a while. But this one is called Green Lover. Now I have worn this fragrance. Actually, I've worn all the fragrances here that I'm gonna share with you except for one, which we'll get to. So um, I have worn this one. This is what it looks like. And I believe this is actually marketed towards men, but I definitely think it's unisex. This fragrance, it smells like a vanilla and gin <laughs> fragrance. It's kind of weird but I really like it. The first time I sprayed it, I can't lie, I was taken aback. So it has a bit of greenness to it, but it definitely, the gin smell is pretty strong when you first spray it. As it sits on your skin and mellows out, you get less gin, more vanilla, but you still can smell the gin there. And I really like it. It's very different and it's actually really grown on me. I'm not gonna lie, when I first sprayed it, I thought that this would definitely be one that I was gonna be selling but i like it and i've worn it probably about three times and i really really have been enjoying it it's very interesting it smells very good and different from what i already own and this was not very expensive at all i'm really liking this thus far so this is lolita limpica green lover the next fragrance i have is one that i was so excited to get as soon as i heard they were coming out with another fragrance and this is none other than kaoli utopia vanilla cocoa so this is what the box looks like. Very pretty, very like the same style as all the other Kayali boxes. And then inside is this beauty. And yeah, it's beautiful. It's like a pinkish rose gold color. And it looks opaque, but it's kind of see-through, but not completely. So if you hold it to the light, you can see through it. But when it's just sitting on your shelf, it definitely looks opaque. So I really like it. It's very pretty as far as the packaging goes. <laughs> But y'all want to know about the fragrance inside, I'm sure. So as the name would imply, this smells like vanilla and coconut. And to me, this smells like a very creamy coconut, definitely more of a suntan lotion type scent. There's also some florals in here, but honestly, the predominant notes are the vanilla and the coconut. So this is <laughs> correctly named. Um, but I do really like it. It's very pretty. I actually have another video that I'm hoping I'll get a chance to film today. That's gonna be featuring this fragrance. So I don't wanna spend a lot of time on this because I will be digging a little bit deeper on this fragrance. But I will say it is a very pretty fragrance. It reminds me of vacation. Perfect to take with you if you're going on a beachy vacation. And yeah, it's definitely one of those more sunscreen type scents if you're into those. So yes, this is Utopia Vanilla Cocoa. The next fragrance that I have is one I've actually already made a video on. So I definitely won't spend a lot of time on this. But I did want to go ahead and mention it here. And this is from BDK. It is Velvet Tonka. And this box is gorgeous. Bottle is gorgeous. Like I said, I have a whole video, so I will link it for you guys. But this is what the bottle looks like. And the scent is absolutely beautiful. It smells like... Oh, gosh. It smells like almond, tonka, vanilla. And it definitely has a cherry smell to it, although cherry is not a note in this. It's the almond that kind of smells cherry-ish to me. Uh, but it's just very comforting and cozy without being heavy. And I really like it. Um, this scent just really agrees with me. If you are a lover of the almond note in a fragrance, 
then I definitely think this is one you should smell. It's very pretty. I also think that it's unisex. So yeah, that is Velvet Tonka from BDK. Next up is a fragrance that I came across just when I was looking around on fragrancebuy.ca. If y'all have never heard of them, they're a place that I like to buy fragrances from on a regular. It's probably like my favorite discounter at this moment. Uh, but I was just scrolling the pages and came across this fragrance and decided to pick it up. So this is from the brand Latafa and this is Bade Al Oud Amethyst. <laughs> I'm probably butchering the name. I'm sorry, but I tried. <laughs> so I've already opened this. Let me see. So this is what the bottle looks like. And if it looks familiar, it's because I have another fragrance that basically looks just like this, but it's in a black bottle. It's also by Latafa and it's called Oud for Glory. Um, this one is Amethyst. So I've heard that these fragrances are supposed to be dupes for Initio fragrances. I have never smelled any Initio fragrances. They don't sell them in my area. They're too expensive for me to blind buy. And I mean, I know I blind buy some expensive stuff. Don't get me wrong. But for some reason, I just haven't like, I haven't drank the Initio tea yet. So I don't know how similar they are to Initio or if they are dupes, but they definitely look similar in nature to the Initio bottle. So just keep that in mind. So this fragrance is kind of, different to me if you smell oud for glory that looks like this it smells kind of similar to that but with something else in it and i honestly don't know what it is so to me this smells like there's some saffron on here in a way it has that baccarat rouge type smell to it it's not a dupe but we all know what i'm talking about that saffron scent that the way that is done a baccarat rouge the saffron with the ambroxan I feel like this has that as well. Not sure if that's a listed note, but it's definitely deeper than that. And it's definitely more of a fruity sweetness to this fragrance. Not sure what fruit, but if I had to guess, I would say probably plum or black currants. That's what it smells like to me. So I feel like this one is kind of hard to explain, just like Ooh for Glory is, um, which is the one that looks like this. But I do really like it. But I also feel like it's kind of similar to Oud for Glory. So I don't know if this is going to stay in my collection. But I do really like it. I've only worn it one time. So I really don't know about longevity or anything. But this fragrance is like $30 something dollars. So yeah. Bottle is very heavy by the way. So um, yeah this is Amethyst. The next fragrance is one that's been out forever. But I feel like in 2020 it got a lot of hype. And so I finally decided to pick it up. <laughs> this is Givenchy Hot Couture. Eau de Parfum. So this is what it looks like. And you know what I'm thinking? I thought I ordered the Eau de Toilette. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to go back and look at my order. But anyway, so I finally picked this up after hearing people rave about it recently or in 2020 actually. Um, but yeah, this is what the bottle looks like. And I have to say, people described it as being like, like sweet old cigarette smoke, <laughs> but in a good way. And I don't really get that. I don't know. I like the smell of this fragrance. It definitely is sweet and fruity. But there's definitely... I mean, I guess I can kind of get that old cigarette smoke smell from it a little bit. Yeah, now when I sniff it, I guess it does give me that. But I don't know. When I wear this fragrance, it kind of just smells fruity to me. So I really need to play around with this one more. Because as of right now, I mean, I like it. But I'm not, like, pressed to wear it. Um, I don't even know what the fruits are in this. It kind of smells like indistinct fruity fragrance to me with a little bit of like <laughs> stale smokiness to it, which sounds gross, but it actually smells really good when you smell it. It's just that when I wear this fragrance, I don't know, it just kind of smells generic to me. I'm not going to lie. So I'm going to keep playing around with this one and see how I like it. Um, if y'all have tried Hot Couture, let me know what you think. I've heard that more people like the Eau de Toilette than the Eau de Parfum. So I don't know about that, but y'all can let me know what y'all think about it in the comments below. The next fragrance is one that I have shared in a couple videos. I think I showed it in a vlog when I first got it. And I also showed it in maybe a day date fragrance video, I believe. Anyway, this fragrance was sent to me from House of Siage. This is the first time they've sent me anything, but they did send it to me. They did not require me to talk about it, but they also did give me an affiliate link. So I will have that below if you're interested. But this is what the box looks like. 
and of course the cupcake is inside i love these cupcakes from house of siage i've been wanting to try one for forever so i was super excited when they wanted to send one to me so this is what it looks like and the one that i have is called benevolence so this is a sweet like orange blossom marshmallow type scent very similar to love don't be shy by killian but to me, it's a little bit more similar to the extreme version of that. But it's, this is a very pretty scent, very feminine in my opinion. It is sweet, but it's also a little bit airy too. It's not anything that's too overpowering, even though it is really sweet. I love the smell of this and I've actually been wearing this and I've actually gotten compliments on this as well from strangers and from my husband. So yeah, it's a winner. <laughs> so yeah, this is Benevolence from House of Siage. The next fragrance is actually the fragrance that I'm wearing today. And this is from the House of Ooh. This is Keep Glaze. Now this comes in a sleeve, but I will tell you, they make the sleeve way too small. Like it, I almost had to tear the sleeve up just to get the fragrance out. So I'm not gonna be putting that back in there, but the box is very beautiful as well. And this is what the fragrance looks like. Look at that y'all, isn't that beautiful? So some people say these are eggs. I don't know. Um, I don't know if they're like an egg or a stone. I, I really don't know. I kind of think they look more like a stone than an egg, but I don't know. Um, anyway, these are hand painted if you've never seen any of the House of Oud bottles. So they're all going to look different, but this one is absolutely beautiful. All of the Keep Glaze ones, of course, look like this in some way, but they'll look slightly different. But it'll still be the same color scheme and everything like that. I first heard about this fragrance last year from Jeanne Antoinette. I feel like I talk about her in every video now, so make sure y'all are subscribed to her. But yeah, she put me onto this one a, a while ago, and it's been on my wish list for forever. And I came across it on fragrancebuy.ca and decided to go ahead and pick it up. Lately, I've been on this mango kick. Don't worry, mango video will be coming soon. <laughs> and I decided to just go ahead and pick this up since I saw it for a decent price. This is a mango fragrance. Now to me, this doesn't smell exactly like how I expect it to smell, but I do really like it. So I get definitely mango, but there's definitely more of a citrus quality to it. Um, so it's not just mango. It's more like mango, citrus, and vanilla in my opinion. It's sweet, but it's also kind of like tart. Um, like there may be some lemon in here, but I actually think it's really beautiful. And I'm testing this out so that I can put it in my mango video. So y'all will be hearing more about this, but so far I am loving the way this looks. I love the way it smells. I just need to kind of wear it more to formulate my opinion on it. All right, and then the last fragrance that I have to share with you guys is one that I haven't opened because I want to open it on camera with you guys. This purchase was definitely inspired by AI the Great here on YouTube. She talked about this in a, I think it was a coconut video or whatever, and she loves this brand overall. So when she described it, I just felt like it was something that I needed. <laughs> so this is from Tiziana Terenzi. It's my first fragrance from the brand, and I'm glad to finally have pulled the trigger on one of these, but this is Berea. So let's go ahead and open this up. All right, so here's the box all unwrapped. And there is the fragrance inside. Let me take out these papers and all. Comes with like a book, two books. I don't know, I'll look at that later. So this is what the bottle looks like. It's the ones in the gold bottle with the black top. This is honestly not my favorite style of bottle from Tiziana Terenzi, but um, it's all right. <laughs> it definitely feels very luxurious and feels high quality. It's just like not my favorite look. I feel like the cap looks a little bulky, honestly. It does come with this little cap in here as well that you can put over it, I guess, if you're gonna travel and you don't wanna take the bulky cap with you, you can just have that little one on. But I probably wouldn't travel with this anyway because it's just too big. So it's time for the moment of truth. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this. I have been dying to open this since I got it in the mail, but I was waiting to do this haul, so here we are. Okay, I like. Okay, so I smell almond and I feel like tropical flowers and coconut. Yeah, that's what I'm smelling right now. Almond, tropical flowers, and coconut. I'm not sure of the notes in this. I do remember that AI the Great said that there was almond and coconut in this. 
I don't remember her talking about the flowers in this, but I definitely smell some sort of tropical flowers in this. Okay, I'm liking it. I do want to try this on my skin. Let's see if I can just spray it on my hand. Yeah. Okay, so this definitely smells better on my skin. I just sprayed it, but I smell less of the alcohol on my skin than when I sprayed it on the test card. So yeah, I'm definitely smelling more, more of the fragrance here. And I definitely get like almond and coconut, but this is actually not as strong as I expected it to be. Of course, I do have to wear this. <laughs> so let me not speak too soon on it. But everybody describes Tiziana Terenzi fragrances as, as being very like potent and very beast mode, very projecting. Um, and right now I'm not getting this from that. I'm not getting that from this fragrance. This smells kind of more like a soft almond floral coconut scent. Kind of smells tropical, but also I feel like you could probably wear this year round. It smells really good. I can't wait to actually wear this one, like fully spray it. Cause I feel like I'm not getting the most out of it by just spraying it on my hand. And I have on lotion and other fragrance and I've been smelling all these things. But I have to let y'all know in a future video what I really think of this fragrance. But so far, so good. It's just not, it doesn't smell as strong as what I expected. But it does smell very, very good. So yeah, I'll have to update y'all in a future video. All right, so those are all the new fragrances added to my collection. Really quick, I'm going to go through some fragrances that have recently left my collection. Most of these were sold, but one of them I actually used up. So we'll start with the one I used up. So the one that I used up is from Aqua de Parma, and this is Mandorlo de Cecilia. And you may be able to see there's a little bit left in there. But when I try to spray this, it gives me the camel spit. I mean, I could just keep trying to do that, but honestly, it's super annoying because it doesn't spray right anymore and it's like donezo. Like, look at that. I can't believe I used this up. This is a 2.5 ounce bottle. To me, this is a lightweight almond scent. It definitely has that root beer type smell to it. Kind of similar to Dior Hypnotic Poison, but a much lighter, summery, daytime version. This is like the cologne version of that. And I love this fragrance. I have not repurchased it and I'm probably not going to because I like to try new things. But I did really enjoy this for like the last couple years. Now on to the fragrances that I have sold. So I'll be looking at my phone because I have them here on my Mercari. <laughs> so the first one that I sold is Dolce & Gabbana Dolce Shine. Now you guys may remember me mentioning this in a previous haul video. And I told you at that time that I wasn't really that impressed with it. And I kept trying to wear it, but it just didn't wow me, honestly. It was pretty. It's like a mango floral scent. But to me, it just... The mango wasn't strong enough. It was more floral to me, more like a tropical floral, but it just didn't do it for me. There's nothing wrong with the scent. It just, to me, was boring, and I just found myself wearing it just to wear it, but I wasn't enjoying the experience. So I went ahead and get, got rid of that one. The next fragrance may surprise you because I loved this fragrance last year. And I still like the way it smells, and I simply sold it because the last few times I've tried to wear it, it has given me a headache. And so I felt like it needed to go. <laughs> so the fragrance I'm talking about is Mancera Oud Lemon Mint. And of course, like I said, I've done a whole review on this fragrance. I do really love the way it smells, but something has changed either, I guess, in me. Cause like I said, like the last three times I've tried to wear it, it's given me a headache or made me feel kind of sick to my stomach. And that's a no-go. Like, I like the way it smells. It was citrus and mint, as the name would imply, but it had that ooh that get, really gave it some depth. It was a unisex fragrance, but I definitely think it leaned more to the masculine side, but I thought it smelled absolutely amazing. I would have given it to my husband, but like I said, whenever I would smell it out of the bottle, like, not even wearing it, even just smelling it out of the bottle, some reason made me feel kind of, like, sickish, so I didn't want him to be wearing it and I feel sick around him. So I had to pass it on or, or I sold it. <laughs> but I definitely would recommend that fragrance. It's just that it didn't work for me anymore, um, whatever's going on in my body. <laughs> the next fragrance that I sold is Parfums de Marley Darcy. So this fragrance I had ended up picking up on a good deal. It was a blind buy and I liked it, but I thought it smelled very similar to Coco Mademoiselle Intense. And I just couldn't justify it because I don't really even love Coco Mademoiselle Intense or the regular version. And so Darcy costs more than both of those. And I already have both 
Mademoiselle and the Intense version in my collection and I don't wear them. And I've been contemplating selling those, but I just love the way the bottles look. <laughs> And I've also heard that like, I guess people, a lot of people sell fake Chanel fragrances online. And so I don't know if I would be able to sell those. I don't want somebody questioning if the ones I have are fake. And so I just was like, well, let me get rid of Darcy because I know nobody's gonna question that. I know it's not fake. I know it's real. I know my Cocos are real as well, but I don't want to be going back and forth with somebody because they think I'm selling a fake, you know? So I just decided to hold on to those and get rid of Darcy. It is a beautiful fragrance. It's just not something that I ever really wanted to reach for, but it is a very pretty fragrance. And then the last fragrance that I declutter is from Philosophy. It was Pure Grace, and you guys probably never even heard me talk about that fragrance, and that's because I wasn't impressed. It's just like a very clean fragrance, something you could spray like right out of the shower just to smell clean. One of those very lightweight scents, and I was just like, why am I holding on to this? I don't love it. Let me get rid of it. So I did. I sold it. So those were the fragrances that I have added to my collection and the few that I have taken away. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed the format of this video, let me know and I can continue to do these maybe like once a month or so. Um, I do have another like haul coming for you guys, but it's going to be a very small haul and the fragrances are all from the same brand. So that'll be coming up probably in a week or two. Again, let me know if you like the format of this video. Have you tried any of the fragrances that I mentioned here? What did you think about them? If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, make sure you follow me over on Instagram. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.